Hey you beautiful people, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Radko Tarot and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into uh, Leo week, December 30th to uh, November 30th, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm always saying December, November 30th uh, up until December 6th, uh, 2020 and uh, while I'm shuffling uh, the tarot cards, um, just to let you know that if you do wish to have a personal reading with me, uh, you can go to the description down below of uh, this video and there you're going to find a link to my website, uh, from which of the very front page of the website itself, you're going to see full list of my services and as well their pricing. And on top of that, if you like the way I read tarot and uh, you want to learn to read this to read the same way, um, you can go for my uh, tarot classes. If you do decide to do so, highly recommend you to start with the major arcana and move your uh, way up through there or from there. So, um, first one we have for you, Leo, which is the very topic of your week, that is going to be the star card. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic itself, that is going to be the Ten of Wands. Uh, followed by the third one that represents the challenges that you will have to, not have to, but that you are going to overcome. This, uh, it's not, the card is not exactly challenges or the position isn't exactly challenges. That are the things that you are to overwhelm most, uh, uh, for the most part, okay? So we do have the two of a cups. Afterwards, that is to be the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. And we are having more and more a sort of business career orientation here for your week coming up. Uh, moving next, that is the way that people are going to look at you and going to see you. That will be the moon card, followed by the uh, sixth card in the spread, which is the uh, obstacles that are gonna hold you back and that will be the nine of pentacles afterwards it is the um, positive aspects of the week that is that are going to help you move forward that is going to be uh, the four of pentacles and the last one we have which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you Leo that will be the two of pentacles so very interesting read uh, <clears throat> It's, uh, it's quite uh, colorful for what I can say here, okay? Uh, now, there is a, uh, a slight issue with how the Nine of Pentacles stays there. And under a slight issue, I mean that, um, how can I say it? That, you know, as the week progresses, you may feel that you are not sufficient enough. Uh, it's like having that, you know, feeling, but I do believe, but looking at the other cards which are going, um, which are coming before the Nine of Pentacles, that feeling is more fallacious than not. So let's uh, dive uh, more uh, thoroughly into the reading. And uh, the first two cards were the uh, Star card and the Ten of Wands. So what these two cards here are telling us, it is that this, the week itself, uh, things are going to start aligning according to your ideals and to your high standards. We're talking about the highest standards possible that you have set before yourself, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And that is because you, <clears throat> you are going to feel uh, enthusiastic to put really heavy duty behind uh, and very hard work. Um, I could say that you are to be almost thoroughly metic meticulous about the performance into your career and about the performance into your relationship because with the energies that are feeding the topic, it kind of comes that belief that behind great and mighty efforts, a great and mighty results come about, comes about. So you're going to keep yourself always busy, you know, with improving your relationship, with improving your career as well, and results imminently are going to come about. Though you may kind of, like I said, feel that you could go even for something higher than that, and you can, but in the long run, not throughout the week. And that's why we do have really the start at the first at the first position, guys. Because the star card points that 
the development of this week doesn't have to stop at its end, but just on the contrary, it can carry on far further into, uh, into space and time. And um, it, it, it's going to give you, uh, not, not give you, but it's going to become a fulcrum that you are looking forward to accomplish, achieve, reach. Uh, and with the star card, there is always um, not enthusiasm, but it's like a drive, a pull, and uh, there won't be any sense of letting it go. The star card could also signify a unfolding love that may come about to you, Leo. But if that is the case, it will come under uh, a heavy conditions. That is love that you cannot take for granted. Okay, that is love that you constantly have to feed. Otherwise, it's going to go away. Uh, moving next, we do have the challenges that you are going to overwhelm throughout the week, and that is the Two of Cups. And uh, Two of Cups falls uh, into this position and comes in a very unusual state of the card. Usually the card is symbolized with uh, connection, love, you know, and, and these kind of stuff. But in this particular case, the Two of Cups it is about the uh, the fear of denial and it is about the um, how can I say it um, the pride and as well uh, the shyness was the word that I was searching for that you may kind of like you know hold within yourself when you are trying to, to push things through or ask people for help uh, and throughout this week because you are going to be driven by your high standards uh, you are not going to be shy to ask for help. You're not going to be proud if you have to use someone's, uh, again, help to push you forward, but instead grateful, okay? Or proud not to ask it, but instead grateful that you can receive it. And also, uh, <clears throat> it's very possible that relationship can be mended throughout the week itself, because that is something that you are going to overwhelm. The, the pride or the brightness and the sh or, or the shyness not to make a contact and you are going to make a contact if that's what it takes to mend the relationship you really hold on into once again if that is about love it is going to come about but under a heavy heavy conditions these are not going to be conditions of the other person it's just the conditions of the environment and of the universe as well so moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy here. That is to be the Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles, pretty easy card here to be interpreted. First gift and blessing that you get to enjoy is about investments. Whatever investments you do, they sure are going to have return with interest. Investments as money, time, uh, performance, uh, emotions, everything is going to return to you in, um, uh, with its interest. So uh, it's, it's very important that you stick, that you not stick, but be very, very active throughout the week, career-wise or relationship-wise as well. With the Ten of Pentacles, also the gift and the blessing of your independence is going to shine there, meaning that you are going to feel uh, like free from everything and everybody around to do what you please. But I'm not talking about doing stupid or sh uh, things or shenanigans, but doing the things your way. Also, uh, with that independence comes the repayment of death in a way that, for example, if you do um, owe, owe something to somebody, it's highly likely that throughout the week you may find the means to repay it as money, you know, as a favor and so on and so forth. And the last gift and blessing that uh, you get to enjoy throughout the week and that gift and blessing uh, highly falls under the radar of your decision making is that uh, there could be a person around that's um, messed up with you uh, in a certain way, betrayed you, tell, told you something bad, in other words, misused your trust. Well, they are going to regret that and will try to, to, to mend it, to mend the things up. Uh, well, it falls to you to uh, decide, are you, going, are you going to give them a second chance or not? But either way, uh, things are looking really good with you with those gifts and blessings. 
Moving next, we do have uh, the uh, vision of the others, how they're going to look at you, uh, what kind of impression you're going to leave into them. That is to be the moon card. So with the moon card, um, it, it fell with other sign. Um, I don't remember which one was uh, for that week. And moon card in that position just puts the others uh, into a limbo. They don't know what you're doing. They have no idea what you're striving for uh, and they also don't know what kind of a situation you're in. They don't have a full understanding or a grip over what, again, uh, uh, over your situation. And that's, of course, it's very good if you have to tackle with enemies, they just, you know, they have no idea what they are up against and they are afraid to approach you because they don't know what kind of an ace you are holding up into your sleeve. But with those that are faithful to you, those that you love, it could be a bit worrisome because, you know, as they don't know what you are thinking and what you are aiming and in generally why you are behaving that way, you don't feel the necessity to say why, so on and so forth. Uh, a little bit of a cracks are, are appearing in, between, in the relationship or in between the relationship of you two. So it will be good if you are extra elaborative. All right. Uh, <clears throat> otherwise, in either case, may that be enemy or a friend, if you do not elaborate, there will be fantasies. I mean, they're going to start fantasizing, feeling those cracks and gaps with what their brains make up of the thing, according to their logic. And for the most part, it's going to be utterly wrong. And uh, it's only going to cause more trouble in case of a friend and it's gonna give you more advantage in case of an enemy. So we are going, we are approaching the uh, most peculiar card into the reading and that is what holds you back. This is the Nine of Pentacles. And uh, it's the impression that these standards we talked about at the start May that be unfolding love, an amazing job offer, or some kind of a project, or in generally a way through to improve your, wide, uh, your life with an, an amazing circumstances. You may think throughout the week that is way too big of a piece to chew up and swallow down. And that is going to hold you back big time. Okay, Here with the Nine of Pentacles, you need to adopt the standpoint that that is your thing. That is the big fish you waited for to catch up, a golden big fish that you waited for to catch up. And in generally do what's, what's necessary to do it. With the Nine of Pentacles into that position, you have to approach the matter very seriously. Uh, even if it seems that you can't mess around with it and, you know, um, how can I say, scamper around and giggle with it and so on. In generally, be spontaneous. You cannot be spontaneous. This isn't a game, all right? That enterprise throughout this week, that ain't a game. It is not your, uh, how can I say, um, leap of faith. That's your leap of development. It's not like you can uh, wave your hand and move it uh, and walk away from it. You can, but you can't get back afterwards. So you have to be very serious about the situation, um, about your job and about your uh, relationship as well. And with the Nine of Pentacles, please in that position, guys, please don't be cocky. All right, don't don't think that the world owes you anything, nor anybody around you owns you or owes you. I'm sorry, owes you anything. If you do want something with those cards. You have to work for it. There is no other way around it. Moving next, we do have the card that shows what helps you, what is out there that truly helps you to push forward. Four of Pentacles, amazing card, having it into that position. It just points that you are sitting on very good foundation, solid patterns here. And in other words, with your work thus far, excluding the work that you are about to do throughout the week, you have ensured a very good future for yourself in this particular narrative. And you can calmly, you know, approach the matter and approach the, uh, the enterprise itself. Um, so <clears throat> the card here points that there won't be any sense of emergency. You can definitely catch up your breath. You can't do your things in peace and uh, be, how can I say, and be productive with it. Needless to say, Four of Pentacles speaks about good wealth. 
that you may accumulate throughout the uh, uh, throughout the week and also that the wealth you got will help you to push through the week as well but the four of pentacles also says that you have taken every precautionary measure to uh, secure or rather like to defend your domain your relationship or your career and if i have to give you an example if you are afraid that i don't know say you are married and you are afraid that somebody is going to hook up with your husband let's say or with your wife it doesn't matter uh, and is going to steal it from you ain't happening this week uh, these attempts are going to be very much futile uh, moving next and last, we do have the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, Leo, and that will be the Two of Pentacles. So with this card, the guidance is just only one thing. There is, when you do approach a situation, there is more than one way to solve the situation. And if you try your way and you see that it doesn't work, that means that the concepts you are trying with to solve the situation or to develop the situation are outdated to the situation and you should not be afraid nor reluctant to adopt a new, um, new concept of yours. In other words, be adaptable. That's the name of the game throughout the week itself. So Leo, that, uh, that was a, um, a very good read uh, and according to me at least, um, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. It's an amazing week coming your way. And uh, with that being said, guys, again, if you do wish a personal reading, you can go to my website, which you can find in the description down below. Uh, and in any case, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.